Well, now that it's off the car, it looks like the power cables for the hover system have disconnected. These walls couldn't possibly go around the entire city, could they? Subtle. Real subtle, Marty. Ah, uh, check, check. Sibilance, sibilance. Who is this? Stop messing with the intercom. Oh, ha <laughs> ha, hi. Uh, can you buzz me in? Visitors must check in at the north gate. Oh, north gate? I'm not walking clear around Hill Valley. There's got to be another way. I need the wheel off the car, but the wheel doesn't work without power. I don't really feel qualified to repair a nuclear reactor. Maybe it's still under warranty. Well, I guess technically it's way under warranty. Let's see here. Red to positive, black to negative. Whoa! Oh. Far out. Okay, Doc, let's see what kind of nightmare alternate timeline I've landed in this time. Okay, Marty. Nothing to be afraid of. It's just an alternate hill valley that's turned my girlfriend into a punk rock vandal. That doesn't mean it's full of post-apocalyptic biker gangs run by armies of Biff clones. Just take a deep breath and remember, we gotta find Doc. So, so clean. Good morning, citizen. And a good morning to you, too, citizen. What's going on here, Doc? Jeez, my Hill Valley never looked this good. Watch where you're going, citizen. Sorry. Mr. Parker! That's Officer Parker to you, Martin. Now what's with the outfit? I, uh... It's Thursday. Yeah? Polo shirt Thursday. You're out of uniform. That's a violation of Civic Ordinance 9 Triple E. And you're not wearing an ID, in direct violation of Ordinance WB714. What are you up to, citizen? Polo shirt? Are you on the pot, citizen? Put your arms up, spread your legs! Hey, wh what are you doing? Quiet! Hold still! Hmm, nothing. What's your deal today, McFly? Uh, can you tell me where I can find Doc, uh, Citizen Brown? 
Are you sure you're an honor student? Where do you think he is at this time of day? At work? That's right. Working at the courthouse. Heavy. Hey, what's with the pat down? What do you think? I'm packing heat? Heat? Contraband? Contraband? You know. Booze, smokes, bubblegum, dogs, circus bubble gum peanuts. Is illegal? Come on, McFly. You're smart enough to know that ignorance of the Civic Ordinance 2XM isn't an excuse. Since when are you a cop? I thought you were a shoe salesman. Are you on something? I've always been a cop. Just like my pa. Great, I've turned my girlfriend's dad into a cop. Have you seen Jennifer? What's it to you? I thought she broke up with you. Yeah, well, I need to talk to her about that. Good luck finding her. I usually don't see her unless she's racking up demerits for her art. I've got to finish my beat. Are you going to make trouble for me today? No. No what? No, sir. That's right, citizen. Citizen, are you about to throw something away? Make sure you use the correct receptacle. Hill Valley takes pride in its diverse waste management system. What is the aluminum content of that can? Make sure it goes into the correct blue receptacle. Is that green, clear, or amber glass? It makes a difference. Remember that all consumable wrapping is tagged with a microchip to help us automatically police litter. I'm all for recycling, but this is out of control. Gates? Ah, oh, these are new. Hey! What do you think you're doing? Nothing. I'm just standing here. Loitering, huh? What is this? It's a demerit. No loitering. So get a move on, citizen. You gotta be kidding. standing in front of the Hill Valley Courthouse. The original courthouse was built in 1885, just 20 years after Hill Valley's incorporation into the state of California. Though the courthouse holds the seat of the local government, it also has been used as a shelter during the recovery period following the 1906 San Francisco earthquake. Most of Hill Valley's community is a result of displaced San Franciscans planting roots after that dreadful disaster. In 1976, the downtown renovation project saw the first major additions made to the courthouse since its original construction. The courthouse was expanded with an additional 128 offices in the new flanking wings and a new mayoral office added to the original clock tower space. Look closely and you can still see some of the original courthouse's details preserved in the new international inspired facade. Hill Valley Courthouse? How may I help you, citizen? I need to see Doc, or, uh, Citizen Brown. Do you have an appointment? Uh, no, but... Then I'm afraid you'll have to wait your turn. Citizen Brown's a very busy man. That voice sounds familiar. Biff? Doc? Doc, 
Wait, I need to talk to you. Ministry of Tourism. I can't see why people would want a vacation here. What's the problem, citizen? Oops, wrong number. Commemorating on the 25th day of August this year of our Lord, 1931, the capture and incarceration of Irving Kidd Tannen and the disbanding of his criminal syndicate by the heroic efforts and ingenious mind of our beloved first citizen, Emmett Lathrop Brown, by virtue of his experimental rocket car. Edna must have written that. Citizen Plus. Biff? Hey, well, you're, you're George and Lorraine's youngest. Martin, right? What? You don't know me? Only by reputation. Brown Cadet of the Month, three months running. Impressive. Are you interested in the Citizen Plus program? Listen, Biff, that car I saw you get out of, was that Doc Brown in there with you? Ha! <laughs> Doc. Yeah, that should be his new nickname. But, but yeah, that was Citizen Brown. What an inspirational guy. How'd you get FaceTime with him? He seems so busy. Well, you got that right, Martin. Citizen Brown's a busy, busy guy. But fortunately, or uh, unfortunately, I'm a special case. See, Martin, I used to be a real bad apple. A real... butthead. You, a butthead? No. What can I say, Martin? I was always getting into trouble. Into too much trouble. What with the booze, the party, and the women. Even my dogs were a pack of trouble. You <laughs> pack, get it? Uh, yeah. What does this have to do with Citizen Brown? Well, after getting in so much trouble, the authorities, they took me in to see Citizen Brown and gave me an ultimatum. Citizen plus or bust. So you won't break any rules anymore? Can't. The Citizen Plus treatment makes it physically impossible for me to break rules. How so? Now I get physically ill if I try to break a rule. What is this Citizen Plus? It's Citizen Brown's new re-education program, and I'm the first of Hill Valley's Citizen Plus. Uh, plus is... plus I? Nice clothes. You lose a bet or something? What do you mean? I'm wearing what everyone is wearing. It's Polo Shirt Thursday. Uh, you, my friend, are out of uniform. So I've heard. Yeah, well, there's always tomorrow. Hawaiian Shirt Friday. Great. How's your re-education holding up? Still incapable and uninterested in breaking the rules. Sure you aren't craving a beer? I do kind of miss beer. Oh, on second thought, blah. So, uh, about all the bad things you used to do. Gosh, Martin, I, I really don't like dredging up the past, but all right. If it'll help you make a decision about Citizen Plus. Yeah, let's, let's change the subject. Thanks. Yeah, I don't like talking about my old nasty self. You used to be a real bruiser. But that's all behind me now. So what? You wouldn't even defend yourself? I don't know if I could, actually. Wuss. Oh, you're just a...